has been taken from the book of Galatians chapter 6 verse 9 and let us not grow weary while doing good for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. The third Bible reading has been taken from the book of Psalms chapter 119 verse 105. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. <coughs> the fourth Bible reading has been taken from Ephesians chapter 4, <coughs> verse 32. Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. <coughs> Today, we have gathered here for our class assembly to discuss three important values that are essential in our daily lives. Integrity, perseverance and synergy. These values are the foundation of our character and guide us in our journey towards success and fulfillment. Integrity is about being honest, ethical and trustworthy in all our actions. It is about doing the right thing even when no one is watching. Perseverance is the ability to keep going, to never give up in the face of challenges and obstacles. It is about having the determination and resilience to overcome difficulties and achieve our goals. Synergy is the power of working together as a team, combining our strengths and talents to achieve greater results than we could on our own. As we explore these values today, let's reflect on how we can incorporate them into our daily lives, both in school and beyond. Let us strive to be the people of integrity who persevere together through challenges and work together in synergy to create a better world for ourselves and others. Thank you and let us begin our assembly to us our assembly with a commitment to uphold these values in all that we do. Now class 10B will be presenting the first kit on integrity. The unseen choices. Now, the office. The scene opens in a busy office. Ten employees are working and chatting away. The manager, Mr. Thompson, 
enters the room holding a stack of folders. Good morning, team. I have a special task for you today. What kind of task? It's a team building exercise. Pair up with a colleague and I'll explain everything. The employees quickly pair up, chatting excitedly. Now the challenge. Inside each envelope is a different workplace scenario. Your task is to discuss the scenario and decide how you would handle it. You all have 10 minutes. We got the scenario for finding a confidential document, laptop in the open. Ours is about dealing with a colleague who's cutting corners. We got one reporting about an ethical behavior. The employees begin discussing their scenarios in pairs, some animatedly, others thoughtfully. Now, the incident. As the employees discuss, Angel notices a company credit card on the floor near Mr. Thompson's desk. She quietly picks it up and shows it to Tom. Look, what I found! It's the company's credit card. Should we keep it and buy lunch? But no one saw me pick it up. We could just easily use it. Now, the discussion. Be easy, but it still doesn't feel right. Let's turn it in. Imagine the trouble. You are right. Now, the presentation. Time's up. Let's hear what each pair has decided. We decided to return the document to the manager immediately. We would talk to a colleague who's cutting corners and reporting if necessary. It's also important that we will now, the realization. Excellent discussions, everyone. Now, let's reflect on what we have learned. What guided your decisions? I think it was about doing the right thing. Exactly. The scenarios were designed to make you think about workplace ethics and integrity without directly mentioning them. So this is all about integrity? Yes. Integrity is, it, is, make it, is about making the right choices, even when no one's watching. Speaking of which, someone found this company's credit card and chose to turn it in. That's a real life example of integrity. Who found it? Thank you, Angel. You did the right thing. Integrity isn't always about grand gestures. It's often about the small, everyday choices we make. Now, the conclusion. The employees gather around Mr. Thompson, feeling enlightened and introspective. Remember, integrity will guide you through your career. Just remember to, uh, remember to be true to your values and yourself. Thank you, Mr. Thompson. This was an eye-opening lesson. Yeah, it really makes you think about what kind of person you want to be. I'm proud of you all. Keep these lessons close and you'll do just fine. This kid subtly introduces the concept of integrity through engaging in relatable workplace scenarios with the real act of integrity highlighted in the concluding scenes to reinforce the lesson. The game of life. How do you play? Very good delivery. It was not out. Yes, he got to do the wit of his own volition. If you have to lose, lose the right way. But in the end, and out she goes, not out says the umpire. He's walking. Well, if you have to win, win it right. Because winning isn't getting ahead of others. It's getting ahead of yourself. Virat Kohli asking the Indian fans to applaud at Steve Smith. In this game, we play with honesty. We play with honor. We play with integrity. Now, we will be 
be presenting the second sketch on the part of perseverance. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our motivational sketch on the theme, Never Give Up. Today, we have an inspiring story to share with you about the incredible power of perseverance. Let's meet the characters, Sophia, Jake, Mrs. Thompson, Lily, Ben, Emma, Alex, Sarah, and David. Our story begins with Sophia and Jake facing a challenging situation. Don't give up, Sophia. We can overcome this. What's troubling you, Sophia? I've been working on this project for weeks, but it's just not coming together as I hope. Perseverance is the key to success. Keep pushing forward and you'll make it happen. You've got this, Sophia. We believe in you. Despite the challenges, Sophia and Jake continue to work tirelessly and never give up. You are making a good progress, Jay. Keep going. Thanks for the support, Ben. It means a lot. Go, Sophia. We're getting closer to your goal. Thanks a lot, Emma. With unwavering perseverance, Sophia and Jake finally completed their school project and presented it to the class. That was amazing, Jay. You inspire us all. This story reminds us that no matter how tough the journey may seem, never lose hope and keep moving forward with perseverance. You'll be amazed at what you can achieve. Stop being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame. Like a big shadow. You say I got no love for this place. You say I left it high and dry. You say I got no passion. The disappointment is on you. You say I have no desire that I'm a, a man of the past. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Sometimes you can try so hard at something. Sometimes you can be so, so prepared and still fail. And with every time you fail, it's painful. It causes sadness. And especially as I saw last night, it causes disappointment. I've often said a man's character is not judged after he celebrates a victory by, by, but by what he does when his back is against the wall. So no matter how great the setback, how severe the failure, you never give up. You never give up. You pick yourself up, you brush yourself up, you push forward, you move on. Destroyed my shoulder. They said I'd be out for a year. I was back in four months. That's passion. You, you only go where they tell you to go. I go so hard they tell me to stop. That's passion. Every night you walk down this 
ramp, you walk down the ramp because you have to. I walk down this ramp every night because I want to. That's passion. Now, Class 10B will be presenting the third skit on Synergy. Synergy, the power of teamwork, a classroom transformed into a creative workspace. Desks are pushed together with various materials scattered around, art supplies, musical instruments, writing materials, historical props, coding equipment and tools are displayed. Scene opens with a flurry of activity. Max paints furiously. Alexa struggles with the melody on her laptop. Sarah frantically jots down notes, while Ben flips her book. Chloe taps away on a tablet, and David tinkers with the contraption of wires and gears. Oh, my color palette is all wrong. How can I capture the chaos of a storm with these dull tones? My program keeps crashing. How am I supposed to create the dramatic effects of thunder and lightning? Guys, focus! We need to figure this out before the presentation. Relax everyone, a clear head leads to better ideas. Maybe we should all take a break and come back fresh. A wise suggestion. Throughout history, great inventions and artistic masterpieces often stem from periods of reflection. Everyone takes a moment to breathe. Chloe, who hasn't spoken yet, walks over to Max. Hey, Max. Your painting is interesting. What if you could animate the storm with different colors depending on the intensity? Animate? That's brilliant. But how? That's where I come in. I can code a simple animation based on your color palette. And maybe I can deliver the color. Let's say it's light depending on the animation. Creating a dynamic lightning effect. Now that sounds interesting. I could incorporate those flashing lights into the music to make the thunder even more impactful. This is amazing. We are combining our skills to create something truly unique. That's the power of synergy, right? Fueled by newfound inspiration, the group walks together. Max paints, Chloe quotes the animation, David builds the lighting device, Alexa composes the music, Sarah writes a descriptive narrative, and Ben weaves historical examples of collaboration into the presentation. Finally, after a flurry of activity, they stand back to admire their creation. The painting displays a dynamic storm scene that comes alive with Chloe's animation and David's, light, David's lighting. Alexa's music plays in the background, synchronized, synchronized with flashes of lights, and Sarah's animation adds depth to the scene. storm experience. That's better than anything we could have done alone. The story, the visuals, the sound and the movement, it all works perfectly together. Thanks to our collaboration. Guys, what's going on here? The students excitedly explain their project, showcasing their individual and combined efforts. This is beyond impressive. You have exemplified the concept of synergy beautifully. It's like each added a note to create a magnificent symphony. We even learned a lot from each other's skills and perspectives. Teamwork, truly makes a teamwork. Now let's celebrate with the group dance of the various teams from after the storm.
Our dance squad will now perform. Now, class 10, we will present a song.
everybody's spinning down Hit the bottom, hit the ground Our class assembly focused on the values of integrity, perseverance, and synergy. Let us remember that these values are not just words, but guiding principles that shape our character and define who we are. This assembly has been possible within a short span of time because of the honesty, perseverance, and teamwork of the students. Let us carry these values with us as we go about our day, always striving to uphold them in everything we do. By living with integrity, persevering through challenges, and working in synergy with others, we can make a positive impact on our school, our community, and the world around us. Let us pray. Dear God, as we conclude this class assembly, we seek your guidance. May integrity be a moral compass leading us to make honest choices even when no one is watching. Grant us perseverance to overcome challenges, knowing that through Christ's strength, we can achieve all things. And in our unity, may we find synergy, a collective power that propels us forward and upward. I ask this prayer in his mighty and precious name. Amen. In the end, I would like to thank Mr. Tinil and Mr. Ratley for giving us this opportunity. I would, like to thank, I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to all the teachers who generously gave up their lessons. Ms. Isha Sharma for helping us with the choreography, Mr. Gailey and Mr. Gotson for the help with the music, Mr. James and his videography team, Mr. Roy for photography, all the hall room and control room monitors, Mr. Craig and Matt Ma. Thank you for joining us in today's assembly. Let us continue to embody these values and make them a part of our everyday lives. Have a great day. Now, I would like to hand over the rest of the proceedings to our principal, Mr. Shindu. Thank you.